Welcome to the Morning Blend. It is Holy Thursday, mm -hmm. April 17th, and the week is almost over. It is almost <laughs> over, but we would Good. not... It would not be an Easter show without Sally and I screwing something up on this show. So here we are <laughs> in a somewhat of the blend kitchen, a half of a blend kitchen in Smocks, and we are going to be making some glitter eggs. Ooh. Yes, and with the dye, we thought maybe it'd be best for the remainder of the show to have some protection on. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but before we get into that, so peeps are really a traditional Easter candy that a lot of us find in our baskets. Are you a big fan of Peeps, Sally? Not necessarily, but I'm very intrigued by the flavors. Yes. So Ken found all of these delicious flavors that I've never heard of. <laughs> We've got bubble gum. We've got party cake. Ooh, mm. listen to that one. Blue raspberry, sour watermelon, and sweet lemonade. I would like to try the sour watermelon. This really? Yeah. Wow. I know. Are you a bizarre. sour fan? All we are saying is give Peeps a chance. Yeah, I mean, that is all peeps. We do not discriminate you know, against rock and peeps. roll mood here this morning. Yeah. <laughs> but Which I'm, ones would you try? I mean, I know you're not a fan. No, I'm not. I think I'm going to try the party cake. But I also found some cool things to do with peeps. So if you've got kids and you want to decorate your peeps, this image that will be pulled up soon will be a fun look at this. Hula bunny peeps. Look at how cute those oh, are. Oh, that is cute. That's super cute. So and those are the rabbit peeps. Yes. And if you don't like peeps at all, but you like the color of peeps, look at this fun bouquet of peeps. Mm. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's super cute. And they're so cheap. They I really actually are. can't figure out how the people who make peeps make any money. Yeah. Because they're so inexpensive. They really are. It's just marshmallows and sugar. This does really taste like watermelon. Sour watermelon. Sour watermelon? Yeah. And it's pink on the inside like a sour, sour watermelon candy. Ooh, I had party cake. Party cake is good, but it tastes just like a peep. <laughs> How disappointing. I mean, seriously, I was kind of hoping for like a birthday cake or something. Right. But we need to get to the egg dyeing. Okay. Right. So look at these nifty things that Allison found. These are actually no spill egg dyeing kits. Look at this. We're going to challenge look at the how no spill aspect. Look at how, look at that. Nice. So feel free to run out and get as many of these as possible. Okay, so I'm putting a glove on and I don't know why. What color do you want? <laughs> uh, I'll take the green one. Okay. I have a feeling I'll need my glasses for this. All right, there you go, chamois. Okay. I'm going to put this in. So what I guess we do. They're warm. Is they've already been pre-dyed for us. So this is like some special egg glue that you dip your egg in, and then you can just glitterify it to your heart's content. Ooh, I do like the little glitter. I do, too. It's super cute. Now, do you want to leave it in here, or should we put it in the bag? Whatever um, you'd like to do. Bag. Well, I think what, we're gonna, what I'm going to try to do is paint some of this glue onto my egg. Oh. Or maybe drop it like this. Oh, and then, and then you could like do glitter stripes on it. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I mean, this is this still seems sort of messy for kids. But that's what kids want to do, though. They want to just destroy everything in your house and right. make it as messy as possible. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a couple of streaks and see what it looks like. All right, roll around, fella. <laughs> oh man, roll, little guy. Hence the gloves. There you, there you go. There's the reason for the gloves. See how this puppy looks. <gasps> okay, so, I mean, it's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm going to make it easy because we're running out of time. Right. It's just little stripes, and I guess if you had an actual paintbrush, actual art um, supplies, <laughs> you could make really cute designs on your eggs. And if you, only, and if you didn't have two minutes <gasps> to do it. See, that's cute. There it is. I like the Done. sparkly with the pink. I do, too. And I'm sure you could probably use any kind of glitter. So you could get gold glitter, get multicolored glitter. Right. I like the fact that this kit comes with the glue, though. I know. I do, too. And so this is called the No Spill Egg Coloring Kit. There you have it. Awesome. We Another great morning blend find. And where did we get this, Ken? Walmart. At Walmart. Available at a Walmart near you. Probably Target and <laughs> Walgreens and everywhere else. Yeah, that's probably true. true. <laughs> well, we do have a fun Easter-themed show for you today. But now, let's take a look at our photo of the day sponsored by BuddiesDeals.com. One of our viewers sent us this picture from their day at the zoo. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, that's better than the Easter eggs. It is. <laughs> to sign up for Buddy's Deals, just go to BuddiesDeals.com and enter your email address. And make sure you head to our website, TucsonMorningBlend.com, and enter for our photo of the day. Just click on the contest page and be sure to explain what's happening in the photo as well. Well, coming up on our Easter theme show, we'll try a refreshing salad that you can get at an Easter brunch. Plus, do you recall the meaning behind the palms that you received at Mass last Sunday and why we get them? We get an overview of Easter traditions from a Tucson priest. That's right after this. 